A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 6, verses 27 to 38. Passage taken from the Message Version of the Bible. To you who are ready for the truth, I say this. Love your enemies. Let them bring out the best in you, not the worst. When someone gives you a hard time, respond with energies of prayer for that person. If someone slaps you in the face, stand there and take it. If someone grabs your shirt, gift wrap your best coat and make a present of it. If someone takes unfair advantage of you, use the occasion to practice the servant life. No more tit for tat stuff. Live generously. Here is a simple rule of thumb for behavior. Ask yourself what you want people to do for you. Then grab the initiative and do it for them. If you only love the lovable, do you expect a pat on your back? Run of the mill sinners do that. If you only help those who help you, do you expect a medal? Garden variety sinners do that. If you only give for what you hope to get out of it, do you think that's charity? The stingiest of pawnbrokers does that. I tell you, love your enemies. Help and give without expecting a return. You will never, I promise, regret it. Live out this God-created identity the way our Father lives towards us, generously and graciously, even when we are at our worst. Our Father is kind. You be kind. Don't pick on people, jump on their failures, criticize their faults, unless, of course, you want the same treatment. Don't condemn those who are down. That hardness can boomerang. Be easy on people. You will find life a lot easier. Give away your life. You will find life given back. But not merely given back, given back with bonus and blessing. Giving, not getting, is the way. Generosity begets generosity. The Gospel of the Lord. Reflections on the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 6, verses 27 to 38. The authors of the Gospels have tried to present Jesus as the new Moses, the new lawgiver, the Messiah. The Ten Commandments formed the basis of the Jewish faith, which offered them guidelines for their religious as well as social life. In the New Testament, Jesus gives a new guideline for those who follow him, and he reinterprets the laws and explains the commandment of love as the first and most important of all commandments. In today's Gospel, Jesus gives a new set of values for those who follow him, explaining in greater detail the commandment of love, which involves doing good, blessing, praying, not refusing but always giving. But here, the command to love is introduced with a twist. The twist is, to love even our actual enemies and to do good for those who hate us, to bless those who curse us, to pray not only for our needs and those of our dear and near ones, but also for the needs of those who abuse us. The greatest challenge that would prick our conscience would be the command to give. The newness of the gospel lies in giving of oneself giving one's heart without expecting anything in return. Jesus' invitation to respond to insult and wrongdoing with love has created a new culture in the world. Pope Francis calls this a culture of mercy. In his apostolic letter for the year of mercy, Misericordia et Misera, he wrote, the culture of mercy should set in motion a real cultural revolution, a revolution of love in which 
the protagonists are the martyrs of all times and jesus assures us that our behavior inspired by love for those who do us harm will not be in vain he tells us forgive and you will be forgiven give and it will be given to you is it possible to love our enemies and do good to those who hate you this is precisely what god does continuously in our lives essentially god is love and god has created us to do good and to lend without interest expecting nothing in return and your reward will be great do not judge is a new commandment as important as any one of the 10 commandments judgment always happens because of comparisons we compare ourselves with others and judge how good or bad we are god does not compare because he created us unique there is nothing comparable and therefore jesus says he himself does not judge the path of jesus is generosity the giving of oneself without measure he came into the world to save and he gave himself he forgave he spoke ill of no one he did not judge 